Welcome to Fast Rack's Tech Talk. Today we're going to be discussing the installation of the Fast Rack Talon uh, for your, your shing asphalt shingle roofs. Uh, big benefit with the, with the Fast Rack Talon is that instead of having to mount to the trusses, you're going to be screwing and anchoring into the sheathing material, uh, which is going to provide the, provide the support that you need. It's going to save you a lot of time hunting for your trusses and save you a lot of time with your fast doors installing. No pre-drilling pilot holes, uh, no back sealing. Uh, first thing what we're going to notice with our demonstration roof here is that we've already marked out the footprint of our, of our array, which is a single uh, landscape-oriented 60-cell module. And we've also uh, put a chalk line down on our trusses. That's going to be used for future installation videos where we demonstrate the ultra flash uh, and other roof penetration uh, systems. Back to the talon. What we're going to do, we've mar already marked where our rails are going to be located and they note recognized the course of shingles that we're going to be installing on. Recommendation before we get started, one is make sure you've got a nice, smooth, clean surface to install the talon base plate on. This is going to fit nicely on this row of shingles. And in addition to that, we're also going to make sure that the flashing fits nicely under the shingles as well. Now we've already come by and loosened the shingle just to make this easier. Uh, but I recommend just giving it a test, making sure it's going to fit nicely for you. When you receive your talon, uh, the base plate is going to come without the carriage bolt installed. So before you anchor this down to the roof, make sure you put the carriage bolt in. Uh, you don't want to be having to remove the system and try again. So, now that we've checked that we're going to fit on there, we're going to take the butyl backing, the backing tape off the butyl. This now gives us a nice sticky surface. We're going to put our talon base plate back on where we want it installed. Make sure it's square with the shingles, and just give it a bit of a press. Now that that's pressed in, it's actually the butyl's going to grab onto that asphalt shingle. It's going to make, a, make it nice and easy for your install as the base plate's not going to slide around. To fasten the, the talon to the roof, we're going to be using number 10 metal screws. The reason we recommend the metal screw is because it has a full thread versus your wood screws, which has an unthreaded shank. Uh, it's the purpose of, the, of putting the talon on. Oh, just like uh, the legs on your car and your tires, we're going to put these on, put the fasteners in using a star pattern. I'm going to start at the bottom right, just securing it in. Just get a little bit of compression on there. We're also going to go back up over to the top, top left. And now we're just going to continue around, anchoring them in as we go. Important thing to notice to note is that you don't want to over tighten these, you don't want to strip the holes and uh, reduce the effectiveness of your fasteners. Alright, last fastener going in now. We're nice and secured down to the roof deck. This is, this is secure. The butyl, you can see as we've tightened it down, it's compressed a little bit, squished a bit outside. It's a good indicator that you've got a nice tight seal um, against your shingles. Now, before we install our flashing, what we're going to do is we're going to take the last bit of uh, backing material off the butyl over top of our carriage bolt. What this does is we've got a nice mounting surface now for between the bottom of our flashing and the top of the base plate. Now that that's off, we're going to slide up our shingle, our flashing up under the shingles. Line the hole in the carriage bolt up. Just give that a bit of a press to hold it in, in squat in its proper location. Take our L foot, drop the L foot on. Put on our carriage bolt. Once we've got that nice and snug, bring up your 13 millimeter or half inch wrench. Just get that nice and square. Tighten the foot down. On that, that's the installation of the fast rack talon. Nice, simple, straightforward design, saving you time up on the roof um, without having to hunt for your trusses. Uh, if you have any questions regarding what you've seen in this video, please feel free to contact HES and we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you very much.